Hey everybody, I've got a new detail episode for you guys today, and this time uh, we have tanks, and uh, I really like this one. This is a fun project that I worked on. So as you can see right here, uh, I've got two tanks to show you guys. Um, I'll show you how to make the one on the left. The one on the right is just kind of an example of how far you can take this. Um, but yeah, here it is. So. This is a big detail, a uh, big, big piece. So it really allows you to customize it a lot, which lets you do stuff like that. And I'll show you some of the things I've come up with. And a lot of this stuff, I'm sure you guys can come up with a lot of uh, fun things on your own. But uh, here's what I've got. Do a little fly around here to give you guys a look at what exactly it is. So one of the things I really like about this is the interior. The interior on this thing, look how big this thing is. There's a lot of room in here, if I can get in. Um, so if you've ever been in a tank, and I have, I've been in one, and uh, the one that I got in, you got down in inside, um, that's that little door thing <laughs> and then there was a little area up top for you to sit in just like this and this person would control the turret and then there was a section down here and there were storage stuff and uh, the, I, I think the driver whoever was actually driving the tank would go down here and I have this set up you know I'm I'm not going to show you how to do the interior. You guys can come up with that because I just threw this stuff together just to give you an idea. I fit a lot of stuff in here, as you can see. You know, we got storage. I can't actually open that storage because I put a lamp over it. We got furnaces and whatever. Um, you might have to use your uh your imagination a little bit on this one, but that's supposed to be like an optic for binoculars. And I'll show you that when we get out. Uh, I put glass right here because if you look at tanks, they have a little glass piece peeking out of the, uh, I believe this is called the hull, the the actual body of the tank for a little optic. And and that's what they use to look through. So that's a nice little detail. So over here, um, I've got another one. And, and just to show you uh, some of the differences that you can do, I made a different design for the tracks for the uh whatever these would actually be called here's this one for comparison and then i uh didn't actually cover this up so i could show you that but yeah this one's camo and i really like it look how well it blends in with the background compared to that one that one's sticking out a lot if you want to like make a war scene put these in trees and it, it'll really stick uh not stick out but uh blend in and uh you know you can do something like set them in a block so that they look like they're sinking in uh, make them look like they're really overgrown you can see i used a couple different colors of of green clay i used grass blocks and actual grass i used leaves and then I covered up the tracks with uh, these green banners. Kind of looks like uh, metal flaps that would cover and protect them, maybe. So yeah, I'll do a little fly around on this one. I actually used uh, the mossy walls on this one to make that blend in a little bit. Maybe you could get away with using the uh, green the green clay on that but I don't think that would look quite as good this one uh, doesn't have quite as much room on the inside uh, and you sacrifice some shaping because we don't have clay half slabs obviously like that that one we have half slab shaping out quite a bit of it this one we used carpet and uh, grass to add some dimension to it 
yeah, it looks like a hill. Looks like a big hill. <laughs> so uh, I'll get on to how to actually make it. Here's a few track ideas. If you wanted to make a desert camel, maybe you could use sandstone. And the detail on these actually looks like track, like tread from a tire. And then behind it, I use this, uh, dispensers pointing straight up. So when you look in there, it's got that pattern. I messed around with a few things. Maybe you can find something else, but that's what I like the most. I also tried uh, iron bars in there with like an even block because this is half slabs. You can't put a block in there. But I tried that, and I didn't like that as much. This is ultimately why I came down to as my favorite design um if look up tanks on google and you can just get a ton of inspiration there's a ton of different kinds uh partly because they've been making tanks for so long but just look at the different kind of tracks that they have the different hulls and turrets you can come up with a lot of different designs here i have a uh u-shaped track um i think that's yeah that's what i used here looking at it like this i'm not a huge fan of it on that i do like it uh this one's same thing upside down so you know you can just mix it up with that so i'll show you how to actually make it here uh first off start with picking out your track that you want and make them with either a two or a three block gap in there i have this blue block to remind me that uh this is six wide but the first one we have over here is seven wide and for comparison this one's six wide and this one's seven wide this one has a center that one doesn't this one's a little bit smaller all in all you can't really fit in inside of it as well but six or seven wide, two or three on the inside. And both of those, I believe, are nine long, counting the tracks. So then after that, here's the hull, and I'll break it down uh, step by step. The front of the hull, I have upside down stairs, one block out from the dispensers, and then full stone blocks on top of that with half slabs on the sides. It kind of just rounds it out, gives it some shape. And then on the back, similar thing. I actually used polished andesite here um, and then stairs underneath of it, just in this pattern. And then I place these stairs sideways. Then on the top, I'll get up here and give you a good look. Here's what the top of the hall looks like. So right here is where the turret's going to go. And then here's where your glass is going to go. On the inside, there are just some of your options that you have for the floor. On the left side, uh, this kind of looks like a nice copper or something. This kind of looks like a nice iron. That looks like maybe a dirty metal floor. This one right here looks like rust. So you got lots of different options as far as that goes. And then here's the turret. So I made it a, a circle with a diameter of five. Here's an overhead view. It's two blocks tall, uh, sitting down on the bottom of the half slab that we use for our hull. And then something that I recommend right here, I use stairs. And that makes it look like it's independent from the rest of it, makes it look like it swivels. And I capped it off with carpet and half slabs. And just to show you, it's getting nighttime, so let me change that really quick. Just show you how big it is when you don't have anything in here. Yeah, this is how much room you have without it filled up with a bunch of crap like the other one. This is a lot of space. You could live out of this if you really wanted to. Maybe you just want a tunnel coming down from there. If you have an underground base, maybe that's something that you're interested in doing. Or maybe it's just a bit of detail. 
Uh, something else that you can do for this turret, uh, if you use full blocks instead of wall, you could run redstone along it, fill this up with arrows, put a button on the inside, and then the way it's set up now, you couldn't see anything. You could shoot arrows. It wouldn't be as powerful as a cannon, but, you know, it's the, it's the little details like that that uh, make it fun. You probably couldn't even reach those animals with an arrow. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what we got. Just give you a quick look again at everything here. Uh, I don't think I said, but I did try making a tank out of this color uh, with birch wood and sandstone. I just didn't like it. It was all just too similar of a color, and it really just looked like a big pile of sandstone. But maybe you can come up with something. But yeah, that's what I got. I really like this. It's, um, it's big enough that it allows you to have quite a bit of detail. Um, you know, a lot of vehicles, uh, you got to scale up in Minecraft to make it look decent, but not really with tanks. So yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Bye.